Hello everyone, my name is Angela Ryan and I'm an active transportation planner with Ford Pinellas. And I'm very pleased to share with you the importance of active, active transportation in our transportation network, as well as within our community. Planning for bicycle and pedestrian use and safety means ensuring that a network of infrastructure is in place to make bicycling or walking easily accessible modes of travel. It also means ensuring that the built facilities are safe and comfortable to use. Elements of bicycle and pedestrian infrastructure may include bicycle lanes, bicycle parking facilities, curb extensions, intersection treatments for bicycles such as bicycle boxes, separation buffers, shared lane markings called sharrows, sidewalk signage, especially high visibility signage, signalized pedestrian crossings and mid-block crossings. And this also includes, which is really important, trails or shared use paths. Transportation planners with the U.S. Department of Transportation look at several indicators to measure how friendly and accommodating a community's infrastructure is to bikes and pedestrians. The first indicator we will talk about is the commute mode share. Commute mode share measures the percentage of workers who, who commute either by bicycle, by private vehicle, including car, truck, van, or taxi cab, and motorcycle, by public transportation, including bus, rail, ferry, or by foot. This reflects how well infrastructure policies, investment, and land use support different types of travel to work. Commute mode share is linked to environmental conditions and contributing factors that affect health outcomes, such as pollutant emissions, which vary by transportation mode. Motor vehicle emissions contribute nearly a quarter of the world energy-related greenhouse gases. Reducing motor vehicle use and increasing active transportation are important ways to mitigate harmful environmental impacts caused by a large amount of vehicle use. Traveler safety is an issue related to commuting and long commutes and motor vehicles are linked to physical inactivity and associated health problems. Conversely, Active transportation modes provide potential sources of health enhancing physical activity. Additionally, pedestrian and motor vehicle traffic fatalities decrease in more compact communities, suggesting that shorter commutes are safer for commuters in all modes. Another indicator is complete streets. The complete streets indicator provides information on whether or not a community has adopted policies that require and encourage a safe, comfortable, and integrated transportation network for all users, regardless of their age, ability, income, ethnicity, or their choice for mode of transportation. Roadways have traditionally been designed primarily for motor vehicles. A personal vehicle-centric design approach causes barriers to use by pedestrians, bicyclists, and public transportation users, and thereby limits active transportation opportunities and is potentially associated with health benefits. Complete streets policies can support planners and engineers and developing roadway designs that improve the safety of all users and provide additional opportunities for physical activity from transportation. Active transportation and physical activity is more likely to occur in places with a variety of land use. A comprehensive network of pedestrian, bicycle, and public transportation facilities invite street designers for all users and provides important safety measures. Planning for active transportation allows people to be active throughout the day and potentially improve their health. 
the connections between physical activity and public health have been widely documented. Research su suggests that physical active adults have lower rates of all-cause mortality to include coronary heart disease, high blood pressure, stroke, type 2 diabetes, metabolic syndrome, colon cancer, breast cancer, and depression when compared to their physically inactive peers. With fewer than 5% of U.S. adults achieving the recommended level of physical activity, it has been suggested that increasing the number of trips made by walking and biking can be important targets for improving the health of the entire U.S. population. Many people struggle to find the time for physical exercise, especially if they aim for one continuous 30-minute block of exercise. Research shows, however, that actively accumulating in several blocks at a minimum of 10 minutes at a time has similar health effects. Walking or bicycling as a form of transportation or walking to public transportation stations, such as a bus stop, also counts toward meeting the daily physical activity recommendations. Overall, there is a significant reduction in mortality or death associated with active transportation, as well as a reduction in the risk of cardiovascular disease associated with active transportation. Planning for bike and pedestrian infrastructure isn't just important to help get people from place to place easily. It's also very important to keep our communities healthy and safe. Thank you.